Hello everyone, I'm the Carmel Nurture and welcome to Dead Age 2. Uh, Dead Age 2 is a zombie survival game, which is a uh, turn-based and strategic. Um, I haven't played it at all yet. I'm excited to get into it. It is... I did not play Dead Age 1, I should say that, so I don't know how it will compare to that game. Uh, it's launching today in on Steam in Early Access, so there will probably be some things that are missing. Alright, character creation. Choose your character's past. What do we want to look like? Any bald options? Oh, we can change our race. Let's be an African American dude. There you go. Let's go with that. Jason. Let's, uh. We see Archer. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We got Jack's Camp. Three medals available for upgrade. Factions. You start with simple clothes and no bonus. Unlock the highest upgrades to be able to choose the faction bonus. Alright, so I guess we're doing this. Upgrades. Three metals. So I assume this is like skill stuff. How do I uh, undo what I just did? <laughs> Alright, endurance, strength, block chance. Let's get this. More ranged weapon. Oh, we can only choose the, the, the first thing, so you have to meta upgrade them as you go along. Okay, I got it. So let's get let's just do this and we'll do uh, another technical as well. Sounds good. Sure. Normal difficulty, start. Talent selection. Let's do bladed weapons. Apparently we're either hunting or engineer. Sure, hunting. Pistol, shotgun, rifle, pistol. Let's do a shotgun. Zomboid, I love my shotgun rampages. That sounds good to me. Alertness, biology, handiwork. Increases the hunter's job rank. Increase food gain. I think I'm going to go with probably survival here. Yeah, sure. Yes. I'm sure I did a terrible job, but we'll go with this. Outposts of other factions offer various merchant goods and quests. Okay. I feel like I need to turn the, vo the uh, music volume down. Ten years ago, the zombification began. The outbreak resulted in pure chaos and billions of deaths. It was the largest catastrophe ever experienced by humanity. A small group of survivors eventually discovered a cure, and with it came a small measure of relief for the decimated world population. Several factions emerged in the former United States. None of them trusted one another. The largest territory was claimed by the former U.S. Army, as they were the best equipped. Smugglers established bases deep in the forests and mountains. The few humane independents attempted to build places of refuge for unaffiliated civilians. But they failed. The undead returned... After just a few short years, hordes swept the world like a plague renewed, washing over the farmland and refugee camp, leaving only ash and rubble in the wake. County Road. Let me uh, turn the volume down here. All right. You are Sea Archer. Feeling heavy under the intense heat, you cross a country road. You had received a radio message from Jack. He intends to establish a new safe camp for survivors of the recent attacks. Okay. Just once I'd like to get anywhere without running into these damned monsters. Not today, I guess. Crippled crawler isn't very quick. Nevertheless, he begins to frantically pull the pocket of, you, uh, of his backpack. Inventory. Weapons and clothing may have 
up to three modifications depending on quality symbols beneath them represent th those modifications to get more information ho hover your cursor over the attributes on the left side of the character and equip equip and then the weapons and return to combat all right i think we're gonna go with a i'm gonna do with the kitchen knife Effective against lightly armored opponents. I'm sure that's good. I'm, I'm, shotgun feels like overkill for a little cre creepy crawly zombie. Oh, we equip both of them? Is that what's happening here? Equipping an item during combat uses an action point. Thankfully, your survivors are quick and have two action points. You're able to perform another action. Choose ranged combat. Each weapon type is endowed with its own abilities. Once equipped, your perception increases range damage. Attribute values are displayed directly below your character. Attack. Got him. No problem. <laughs> Defeated enemies may have loot. Okay, take all. Shell casings and bandages. All right, it'll take all. Should no individual item be selected? All items take oh, right equip to take everything. Okay. So we've got the hand bandages. Undead shuffle about. Your weapon is already equipped, giving you enough time to shoot before the slow-moving zombies reach you. The stats directly below indicate your characters have been updated. All right. So let's shoot. Um, I actually want the... Okay, apparently, because this is the tutorial, I have to shoot this guy. Got a 75% chance of critical. Nope, well maybe not. Grazing shot only results in half damage. Okay. Out of ammo. Okay, dagger time. Thanks to focus, you now have three AP. You could attack three times. Later, multiple AP can be used to activate more powerful skills. First, you must move closer. Only characters in the front can use melee attacks moving forward. Cost one AP. All right, switch row. So that's this is a little bit like Darkest Dungeon with the row switching. Simple range of melee attack raises characters' adrenaline. You can now execute two simple attacks, but your current adrenaline levels allow you to unleash a stronger adrenaline strike, resulting in greater damage output. Remember, in the attacks in the future. All right. Slice and dice, my friend. Slice and dice. Oh, he's gonna get to attack again. This is gonna be one of those fights where I have to lose. Energy is below 30%, making you vulnerable. Be wary. Zombies may in infect you by using special skills, which is also reduces your strength. Defense reduces chance of infection. Eight, two AP left. Enough for two simple attacks. It's close one. Look out, melee attacks may be blocked. Use your defense abilities to guard against infection. Defensive stance. For two attacks again, can you kill it? Directly below it is displayed the, the damage you will do. The numbers are red, and currently lowered because you are vulnerable. Your opponent's armor value is to be calculated against your damage. All right, so we have a 41 times two, so we should be able to kill it. He 
you will be able to defeat your opponent as the final damage value after it. Okay. Yay, go us. Barely survived, but you are alive. Below moaning heralds more zombies, the sound grows louder as an enormous horde comes shuffling into the road. Your heart is in your throat. You crouch in low into the bushes. The horde is a vast cluster of zombies. They appear to be moving towards the position of Jack's camp. You have just a few days to prepare the location for defense. You struggle not to lose all hope at the sight of the sea of shuffling death. The world of dead age has become even more unforgiving. You have to warn Jack fast. Meanwhile, it seems just a short while ago that you and your best friend Steven withstood the rise of the apocalypse. You had barricaded yourselves in a home. You endured the screams of the dwindling population and the bones of the infected, all while scavenging for food and materials. Years of experience has taught you to plan ahead. You've also met with other veterans in the apocalypse and found there is safety in numbers. Con Controlled! Jack, is that you? Steven, is everything okay? You look terrible. What took you? I was starting to get worried. Next time... The next time I saw you, I'd have to fend you off with a bat. Believe me, I don't want to have to be the one to put you down. Steven appears relieved. Jack is known as the hero of the new world. After all, it was he who found a way to put the virus in check. At least for a time. He had been a big help to you and Steven in the following years, living together in a camp of independence. Steven was always welcome with the independence that made him feel at home. Mutation of my old infection is progressing very slowly. I'm doing well given the circumstances. There are a lot of crows in the sky. Should, we should go. Are you coming from the independence? Sure thing, I just got back from Freedom City East. You remember it, right? You had some kind of disagreement with the independence there. Look, I was sorry to hear that your infection is incurable, but I hear you've still got some years left in you. Say, have you seen C. Archer? I made it out in time, but I have no idea where he is right now. Come on, the way to the camp is dangerous. Stay focused. 30 minutes pass as you pick up your way carefully along the winding dirt paths. Display in the upper left shows you how much time remaining. Once it expires, your group will be automatically returned to base. Country Road, Jack's Camp. So I can't click on these dots. Let's go here. I don't want to go to Jack's Camp just yet. Let's see what we got. Icons on the map let you see what I'm most likely to find in an area. In this case, water. Okay, that was water. Hello, zombies. That is inconvenient. Here's a med kit. While I'm fighting up front, you're safe from close range attacks. Steven, stay back and heal yourself. By default, survivors go first. Survivor front and center makes the first move. Front row survivors can protect allies standing behind them in the ranged attack row. In this way, Jack will be the sole target of all incoming melee attacks given Steven time to tend to his injuries. Alright, medicine. Treating wounds, yeah. Alright, looks like we can attack still too. Alright, it's still not letting me choose I want to attack, so we're just gonna shoot this guy. Really? Two points left. Enemy has mean tricks up its sleeve. Whenever it or any of its undead companions attack, its damage increases. Man, it's still not letting me choose anybody else. Selected opponents, current and status effects are displayed beside it. You can view additional information. Let's 
guy's taking a lot of hits. Level up. Feel stronger. Proceed to level, level up. With a little luck, you may sometimes raise your attributes if you have the status effect motivated. The upgrade is guaranteed. This, however, will only happen in special circumstances caused by special story or romantic events. How's Trish doing? She still managed that bar? Go for a cold drink right about now. So what happens? She's expecting us. Our new camp is a large old house that have been outfitted with some new furniture. Trish has been a big help. Still a few munchers, and I'm out of ammunition. Well, then hit him with something. I'll cover you. All right, we're switching rows. We're moving forward. We had different close-range weapons. This is a teachable moment. Which of us do you think will be more effective against the zombies in thin clothes? No idea, man. All right, we have to attack the foreman. You did more damage than I did. It's because your target is armored. Bladed weapons are more are great against light protection. My double strike is more effective there. Against against thicker armor, one single focused hit is more likely to do the trick. Not doing enough damage to this one. Those are armored undead soldiers. You may not notice that close range attacks are pretty much useless against that kind of protection. This is why it's important to have a group with diverse skills. Expect to live long enough to adapt. Alright, we can switch some skills around, apparently. Molotov. Okay. So we have to move back. Now we can Molotov the guy. There's a symbol for armor attached to the undead soldier's health bar. You target it. Use the Molotov. Alright, it broke its armor. I hope I took that. I didn't mean to click off of it like that. All right, I assume we're going to the bar or to the house. Jack's camp. A little bit of war, this war of mine. Look to that. We finally made it. Good to see you again, Stephen. Your best friend, Sea Archer, should be here soon. We'll deal with the smugglers then. Go ahead and make yourself useful. Until then, meet at the bar when you're ready. Should also know how to use radio. We need to manage the camp defense as well. We may want our feeding smugglers secure. When in base, you can navigate between rooms. Let's start by choosing the bar. Cantina, outfitter, forge, smith, bombs, sleep area, medicine lab, garden, hunting stand. You're negotiating with the smugglers? Don't tell me this camp joined a faction. No, we're working alone. The independents are alright, but their leaders can't agree on anything, and the US Army is very authoritative, so we tend to avoid them. That leaves the smugglers. Our reputation with all three factions is neutral, but I'd like to change that and improve our standing with one of them. It'll be encouraging to sell them better armor. And crafting for beginners. Okay. So we've run out of assault rifle ammo. Suggest that you craft some more in order to craft anything you need to learn how. This is, tutorial is much more involved than I thought it was going to be. And this blacksmithing first shoot a skill. Alright, so I have to choose this. Yes. Let's go to the forge. Forge was here.
You said forge, but you seem to actually mean smith. Requires raw material and scrap. That's additional components depending on the crafting recipe in the case of the shell casings, which I gave you. All of these objects can be found in the surrounding area. Gather them. Need a lot of materials. Upgrading this room later will be able to craft higher quality ammunition. Alright. Okay. So apparently that works. Good, you made some ammo. Not going out there in the evening, right? Shufflers outnumber us. Four to one when it gets dark. It's really dangerous after dark. Unless there's something more pressing to do, your time is better spent doing jobs around camp. Let's head to the comms room. Resources run dry, comms are only a chance. Comms, you can radio contact with scouts, but only in areas you already know. It isn't possible to revisit it isn't possible to revisit locations you've been to unless you do it through the comms using scouts. It costs a few bucks, but it's worth it. For making scouts, pick something you want. Particularly look for in our case, we need more water. Relocations will become available. Nope. I meant to click on water. All right, so they're just gonna look for for water, I guess. Since all we did last night was jobs around camp, we are low on resources, Jack and I can take care of ourselves, but every active member of camp will consume one unit of food per day. Scouts discovered an interesting spot in the area. Oh, so they add them to those little s dots. That's interesting. New locations in the coming days. Now it's time to worry about our food situation. We're starting to run low. To find a resource spot, we need to explore new locations. Our first stop is a place a bit more dangerous than the dirt row outside Jack's camp, a place he's called the Forest Grave. Feel stronger. I don't see whatever this place is that they're talking about. Forest Grave? Hmm. Alright, let's just go here. Oh, that was not what I wanted to. Keep an eye on water. Yes, we're low. Yes. I guess, I guess we're just moving around here. Seems to be the case. Chance for an encounter, I guess, is what they're telling me. Bony rangers are as fast as living humans. They are harder to hit from afar and resistant to Molotov cocktails. You should focus on hitting them up close. Alright. Particles mark the rager as an elite unit. More dangerous than normal rager. So lead to greater rewards if defeated. Alright, moving in closer, wish me luck. Switch row. Blunt weapons. Attack. The big guy. Ooh, a spitter. Charging up from a larger attack, only if a mount moment to rack, just take a defensive strength. behind the ragers preparing to launch psychic attack fire blood poison and psychic cause power damage and the hunter skills combat readiness can be raised to protect against the power need to take the thing out okay please die there you go
roundhouse punch. Ooh, that seems unpleasant. Affected by fury, you will have no choice but to retreat to the back. Some guns. Every type of area, like a city, woods, mountains, deserts, or plains, has its own resources. We'll likely find something to eat here in the woods. Alright, I'm actually gonna stop here for today. So this is Dead Age 2. Just came out on Steam. Well, that seems interesting. Got some str strategic gameplay to it. There's a lot, a lot of moving parts right away. We're not even done with the tutorial yet, but I'm sure <laughs> I'm beginning to see the total picture. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button, helps out a great deal. I am uh, Crummy the Nurture. I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.